Learn to grow a self-sustaining garden wherever you are and much more. Hit the follow button. Alright? Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Amanda Dell, aka Green Girl Guy. And today we're gonna plant a sunflower um, that my wife actually picked up from Whole Foods. Okay. Um, I wanted to do the video on this sunflower and show you guys how I transport it into a bigger pot because I want to talk about it for a little bit. Um, a lot of times when you see plants um, and they get them in in the beginning of the season, um, the pots that they originally come in, guys, that is only for a temporary time. And sometimes, like in this condition, this sunflower is actually a good plant still. But because it's been in this pot so long, the roots, you know what I mean? really have taken over the pot and it really hinders it so things like this begin to happen one of the ways to keep this alive is now put it in a bigger pot so keep your eyes out for actually i'm just gonna oh, i'm sorry i got urban farming i gotta get ghetto with it i gotta just put the pan up in there um one of the ways that you can get you know good plants maybe on a discount or already started like something like the sunflower one thing i'm going to do um is at the end of the year dry it out get some sunflower seeds you know what i mean barbecue them and or you know season them up oh wow look at the root system on here guys before i put this in there oh, this is one wow. of the reasons why this plant is beginning to choke That's okay true. now this is a plant Okay, even though it has a little moisture, I'm going to break it up a little bit down here. Oh, wow, you can hear the crunch. Just to give it an idea of what to do. All right, and I'm going to want to have great root to soil contact. Like, I'm going to want to put that thing in there. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a little more dirt in the air. And know that some flowers can get tall, like 10 feet tall. Okay, so that little pot was not going to do it justice. All right, so it's really important when you're planting to make sure that you got your pots, you know what I mean, they're the right size for your plant, um, or you're progressively moving them, you will see this go into a bigger plant once I nurse it and get it back to health. Um, but like I said, this is a great way, get some dirt around here, this is a great way to get, you know, um, cheap starter plants, um, plants that are already grown, because people just don't know what to do with plants, but now you know what to do with plants. So you can go and, and, and save some money. I think this sunflower will cost me about four or five dollars. You know what I mean? Um, and for me, that was worth the money um, because I know that I could save it. And I know once the fall comes, I'll be enjoying See, this this is a fun. You want to pack it in real good, guys. Don't be shy. Don't be shy at all. Another thing that I want to tell you guys is bags that you guys are seeing me use right now are part of this. I always try to tell you the product that I'm using. Um, these bags came from Lowe's. Um, my wife that's recording. What was the original price on these hey, bags? Uh, they were $11.99. And what it winded up happening when they're busted, um, or you'll agree to take half a bag, um, you get a discount. So on some bags, my wife, she can tell you, she got a discount of... Uh, 550 So, uh, you know, everywhere that you can save money, doing uh, urban this farming. This is the bags we're talking about. Everything that you can do... <laughs> As far as urban farming, she just <laughs> she just whipped away. I was like, I, 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 I. anything you could do as far as urban farming to save money, do it. You know, um, not necessarily cut the corners from the quality of the vegetable that you're growing. But why pay eleven ninety nine for this dirt? You know, you can pay five dollars a bag, and you're just missing a little bit of dirt. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do with this Because is, one of the bags literally just had a hole in it. It still had all this dirt, but because it had a hole in it, I got it for half a half off. So. Right, right. No, for sure. 
but what I'm about to do right now, guys, is I'm about to show you guys something that I do to plants. Now, I don't know if everybody does, but I, it works for me. And it gets my plants green, it brings them back to life. Um, one of the things I do is all this nasty stuff. Okay, I just go down there for real, for real. I get rid of it, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100. Number one, it looks nasty. Number two, it's gonna help feed the stuff that I want. Like these nice yellow flowers growing at the top. All right, so I just get rid of them yucky things. These right here, these petals, they'll fall off as they dry some more. Oh wow, you I'm see all the pollen? I'm assuming it it was open, it, it dried, it closed, and I'm assuming that it will reopen back up and re regrow its petals, okay? But this time when it does, it'll stay because now it's in a nice, healthy pot. One thing I want to do right now, guys, is water this, all right? And I'm going to water it moderately because what I have noticed about this sunflower is that it is a thirsty girl. You know what I mean? Um, this is one of the plants that I can come out every day and water, no matter how heavy I water it. So hopefully now that it's in this um, topsoil um, and it holds moisture a little bit better, that'll change. Um, but know that you have to water so far. I've had to water this sunflower a lot. So I want to thank everybody for watching my video. And I'm going to see you next time.